Over a dozen cars were broken into at one Prince George's County apartment complex, but it's what they were after that's raising some eyebrows. David Kaplan's on the story tonight. He's live at Prince George's Police Headquarters in Hyattsville. So, David, what is it? Well, Jim, it's airbags, and this is certainly a story that we have heard before, but neighbors at this one particular complex estimate about 20 cars broken into overnight. Police say they don't have a specific number. They're continuing their investigation. Fox 5 speaking with one neighbor who had her window broken overnight. I woke up like a regular day, got ready for work, made my coffee, and off I went to work. As soon as I came out um, and I approached my car, I noticed the window missing. Um, and as I got closer, I realized that the airbag was missing. All right, so this happened at the Barclay Square Apartments in Beltsville overnight. You walk the parking lot there, you can tell what happened. The driver's side windows were broken. We saw tarp where windows used to be on some cars, or we saw shattered glass on the ground next to cars which were already towed away. We wanted to give you some context about what is happening here. Laura Garcia heads the automotive program at Northern Virginia Community College's Alexandria campus. She says that there is still a parts shortage in the auto industry, that there's an illicit market for airbags. They are in demand. And one other big thing that makes them vulnerable. Take a look. And the airbag is fairly easy to remove. Um, and they may even cut and slice some parts of your steering wheel and steering column in order to get that airbag out, which would cause further damage and further expense. Prince George's County Police also confirmed that there was a similar incident at an apartment complex nearby this one that happened last week. In terms of prevention, something you can do at home, they really recommend going old school with this one. The old club that you can uh, put across your steering wheel is one good theft prevention technique that they're recommending people may consider. Back to you.